This AIN video is brought to you by Corporate Angel Network. A 21st century aircraft runs on data, and it needs that data almost as much as it needs fuel. Data drives multiple systems in both the cockpit and the cabin, supporting passengers and crew alike in functions ranging from flight planning to conducting business and being entertained en route. But the sheer volume and the scope of the data available and required in today's aircraft poses a significant challenge in ensuring that it is correctly and effectively managed. What we're doing is a synchronized platform, so we're bringing all of that data together so that it can be managed, represented, redistributed, so the asset can be efficiently managed, but more importantly, utilized as well. And if you think of it, when the aircraft is effectively born, when it's manufactured by the OEM, what happens to all of that information? So it's actually capturing that information from the moment it comes out of the factory right through its entire life, and it is accurate. The thing is, with digital uh, capture, it enables the customer, the OEM, whether it's the aircraft OEM or the engine OEM, or it's a service business, whether it's uh, flight planning through to scheduling, all of that information can be managed, synchronized, held in a single place. So wherever that asset goes over its life, accurate data is maintained and then redistributed. So this begs the question as to how aircraft owners and operators are supposed to ensure that the data gets used safely and effectively. The depreciation is the big key factor, and with that, the depreciation and the factor of how aircraft are valued is all about accurate information. So if you look at engine management reports, where it's been maintained, has it been maintained by the OEM, has it been maintained by an authorized dealer, all of the, that information, we are removing your headache. You do not need to be concerned about that because that data is accurate, whether it's parked in a corrosive environment. So actually, when you come to sell that asset and you go to your next asset, you're actually maintaining the most maximum amount of value. At the same time, safety, utilization, and the experience all comes into play. And it's really revolutionizing the industry because what we're making sure is when you buy that asset, you can manage it, manage the depreciation far better, and have the best experience uh, which you should have when you're buying a business jet. It's clear that technology in this exciting sector isn't standing still, and nor will the flow of data that makes these aircraft such valuable business tools. If you look at the mobile phone market about 20 years ago, it's extremely proprietary based. And we've got that same issue at the moment in aviation. Everything's very proprietary, whether it's communication, software. You know, you've already mentioned the fact that multiple data uh, scenarios are coming off the aircraft. No one place is putting those to a comprehensive view to the customer. But most importantly, what we're doing in the industry is we're embracing an open architecture approach to our software, our hardware technology, and our communications technology. So the experience for the customer is the thing we're focused on. And a bit like the mobile phone market, ultimately the standards came in with GSM, you could roam. Uh, all around the world. That standard is happening within software platforms, connectivity platforms and hardware platforms. And we're the first business to really embrace that. And the reason we're doing that is it benefits the end user. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel. Also visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.